Yo, what is up guys? In this video I'll be showing you how you can edit like self view into Venture Resolve. So a lot of people have been recommending this video, so this is why exactly why I'm doing it. So uh, right here as you can see I have my clip lined up with the song, so it looks like this. Let me just lower the volume. So it's perfect. I'm using the song Gang Gang by Cowboy. Uh, so if you guys are wondering, uh, that's the song. So right here for the velocity, what I'm going to want to do first is uh, unlink the clips uh, by right clicking and clicking link clips. Uh, I'm going to go on three time controls uh, at a speed point on the marker on the kill. Go uh, to where the gun is pulled out right here at a speed point. Uh, go into the middle of the two and at another speed point. Change the first speed to 25, second speed to 400 and uh, drag the middle speed point back so it lines up or so the last one lines up go one frame in front of the last speed point drag it and that should be good and uh, make this optical flow go down into three times in scaling on the right hand side and uh, click optical flow so uh, it should look like that and change the last speed to 25 as well so uh, now let me just trim this down uh, it should look like this and uh, the speed up is quite quick so uh, if you if you guys think the speed up is a bit too quick uh, drag uh, this like the middle speed point so like it lines up with the back or so it lines up with the marker so it looks super clean in my opinion uh, so now we're gonna want to do uh, for the uh, for the skin glow uh, is split the clip on the speed point on the first speed point on the left and then split it again on the marker and uh, now that you have this little like small section between two sections what you're going to do is click alt and drag it up so that small section that you just uh, cut you click alt on your keyboard and drag it up to the second like layer up here and as you can see now they're basically two of those small little sections and now that you have that go into the color tab make sure your playback head is on the like the second section or the second video uh, go into color tab uh, it's this little like circle right here and uh, what you're going to do for masking your character is uh so i'm not going to show like, you like how i fully mask the character because that like for me it takes like 10 minutes to fully mask everything perfectly but uh what you're going to do is click uh keyframe color corrector and sizing and uh, go into this uh this tool right here on the circle right here so on the circle tab up here and what you're going to do now is click the fourth tool so this one right here and uh, now what this will do basically is uh if you just click on your screen and you just do that basically we'll just trace like an image and uh if you want to see the Im image that i traced go into like this grid right here uh and cl right click and uh click add alpha output and connect the two blues so now as you can see uh there like right here you should be able to see like the shape that i have traced so uh if you guys are wondering how to mask uh that's how it is so i'm just gonna show you the first frame that i mask so i'm gonna add alpha output and then just drag this and i'm gonna click the tool so i'm just gonna mask it to the best of my ability so i am actually gonna put the playback back to uh my resolution and i'm just gonna so you can see just mask it it doesn't have to be perfect uh, it will be fixed later on uh but just try to do it try to do a decent job so yeah just go like that and then just copy my masking like but don't uh if you guys want you can use the same clip that i'm using right now uh link will be in the description but uh, as you can see i'm trying to do the best that i can uh whilst masking this character so what you want to do while masking is also mask the pump that they're using or like the weapon that they're using because it just makes it uh look way better uh you also have to mask basically the full character if you guys can't tell, I'm masking the like the, the skin completely, and uh, I'm almost done here. Just make sure it outlines basically the whole figure. So I don't know how else to explain it, but and uh, that should be good. And then 
as you can see there might be a little bit of a space in between both legs so you're going to do is just mask it decently it doesn't have to be perfect like i said before uh yeah that should be good as you can see i have now fully masked uh the first frame as you can see right here once you finish masking like something like this should pop up it's a uh, white diamond or two white diamonds uh it's for the keyframe and uh now how you're gonna want to switch like the masking like go frame by frame and just like adjust it so uh, let's say i go to this frame right here i can just adjust it move it and it will automatically keyframe so uh yeah you guys now should know everything you need to know for masking your character and i'll see you guys once i'm finished masking my character all right guys so this took me a very long time and uh yeah right now i'm still actually adjusting these uh like the things just adding some like finishing touches i guess uh i didn't do the greatest job of this even though it took me probably like 15 minutes to do everything uh but uh i did do like a half decent job of good enough to actually look pretty good so uh we're not done here yet by the way you don't just mask and leave so uh now what you're gonna want to do is um make the softness or make like the image softer i don't know really how to explain it but just go to every keyframe that you find. Uh, every keyframe, by the way, is like just every like every time you see a white diamond uh, right here is a keyframe. So the first keyframe right here, I'm gonna make the soft one eight, and second frame I'm gonna make it eight. Again, right here I'm gonna make it eight. So basically, every keyframe that you see, you just want to go on it and change the soft one to eight, or at least that's what I like to do. You guys maybe like to do it a bit different, but this is what I recommend. So, uh, just change it to 8. Just change everything to soft 1, 8. So, uh, on the last frame right here. Just don't, don't, don't put the, any number besides 8. So, uh, now what you're going to do is, uh, if you want to see how it actually, how the whole thing actually looks like, go back into the edit tab. And, uh, look, it does look super nice. It's a very nice masking. And, uh, now... What I'm going to want to do is go into the Fusion tab, make sure it's on the clip that you have masked, and uh, go into your File Explorer or wherever you downloaded my uh, presets, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to go into SPR7, uh, Sovio, and uh, I'm going to do a uh, purple skin glow. This is kind of like a purple slash pink skin glow. The thing that I uh, really like about this is that with the skin glow right here, uh, you can click control space and add s underscore hue sap bright. I forgot to mention you will need the sapphire plugins for this tutorial. Uh, once you add uh, hue sap bright, uh, you can literally change the color to whatever you want. Uh, so I'm just going to change it to 0.150. Or, uh, I'm going to put the hue shift to 0.15. As you can see, it changes to whatever color. So let's say I want to put it to this I can change it to green just dragging it around will basically switch the color so I'm put it to 0.15 and it makes like a really cool pink buildup and uh, now what you're gonna want to do is uh, fade it in we'll go back into the edit tab and fade in the the skin glow and it does look really nice it should almost look like exactly identical to like uh, to the actual character so it, as you can see, it will start lagging a lot. Go back into playback and put it to quarter resolution. Put timeline proximo to quarter resolution. And yeah, it looks super nice. And uh, what you're going to want to do now is uh, just drag the masking clip up one layer and add an adjustment clip. And uh, trim it to uh, put it in the second layer and trim it so it's as long as the masking layer. And right click on it on the adjustment clip and click open in fusion tab and uh, what you're going to want to do now is add the Sovio VHS and then just drag it on and yeah it should look nice and uh, go back to the edit tab and uh, fade it in as well and yeah super nice and something I've noticed about the skin glow is that for every clip it will be different so if you want to make it brighter go into glow noise and make it like 2.5 uh, that should be nice. Yeah, it looks nice. And uh, actually, I'm going to switch it to 2.7. Because I think that would look nice. 
and uh, yeah, it looks better in my opinion. And uh, now that we're done with the build up, what we want to do is get an adjustment clip again and put it on the kill and trim it. So basically, it's just an adjustment clip over top of the kill, like I said before. Uh, go into Fusion tab and drag in the wavy impact <coughs> that Sovio uses. Uh, I made this myself, by the way. It's like a perfect replica, in my opinion, of uh, Sovio's impact. And as you can see, it looks really cool. It's like this little wave, as you can see, and it just fades back into like normality. So super clean, in my opinion. And uh, look at that, just waves back. Uh, I really like it. I'm really proud of myself for making that. And uh, now what I'm gonna wanna do is drag the shock wave that I have in the folder and put it over top of the adjustment clip. And uh, what we're gonna wanna do for shockwave is go into composite right here and make the composite mode add. And as you can see, it does look really nice. And uh, yeah, so now what I'm gonna wanna do is add S underscore hue set bright to shockwave. So go back into the fusion tab, make sure you have shockwave selected, click S or type in S underscore hue set bright and change it to 0.15. And it should be the exact color of the skin glow. Super nice. Um, and now we're actually almost done here. Uh, what we want to do now is... Uh, so this part, I think a lot of you guys will actually be looking for this part specifically. It is the cinematic and basically the text that he uses. So what you're going to want to do is just drag this forward. Uh, make sure you have everything selected actually just drag all this forward and add the cinematic it should be a grass hut right here and I, I like to make it around like three seconds and just trim it and now just drag everything back so basically the grass hut ends where it's like the clip starts and fade in the audio or the song and for grass hut right here what you're going to want to do is add a fusion composition. Uh, for this portion, I will give a lot of the credit to Dave's. Uh, he kind of, for his tutorial, I kind of picked up on how he did it and like add my own tweaks to it. So a uh, huge shout out to Dave's his, uh, his uh, channel and like his video will be in the description because I feel like a lot of tutorial, you, might, you guys might be thinking that I got it off of Dave's. And uh, yeah, this tutorial was inspired off Dave's and I had like my tweaks to it and like my own personalization to it. So uh, obviously again, huge shout out to Dave's. So uh, what you're going to want to do for uh, after you've added a uh, fusion composition, trim it so it uh, lines up with the grass hut, make sure it's above the grass hut. Uh, cinematic, go into the fusion tab and drag in uh, the so view text. Uh, this should already come keyframed, or not keyframed, this should already, like it's a, pre a perfect preset. I'm using the song Gang Gang, uh, like I said before by Cowboy. And as you can see, it switches colors really cool. It goes from like blue to green and then to like purple and then red and super cool in my opinion. Uh, and now what you're gonna wanna do is, uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is that uh, sometimes it may not be keyframed exactly how you like it. So go click on S underscore hue sat bright and then go to the end and put the hue shift to zero. So it should look nice and then go back to blue. So now, uh, we're almost done with the text. What you're gonna want to do now is add the displacement map uh, 20s. This full credit to Dave's again. Uh, this is his. Uh, I think he made it. But yeah, it just adds more waviness to the to the text. And as you can see now, it looks super nice. And I'm gonna fade in the fusion comp just a bit. And uh, now what you're gonna want to do is. Uh, Go and add an adjustment clip over top of everything and just make it super short and when I mean say super short I mean super short just make it like I'd say that's a good length make sure it's at the beginning of everything and above everything uh, put it uh, go into fusion tab and add uh, one of my transitions from uh, my edit pack so let's be yourself an editing pack transitions and I like to do zoom in for this and that should be super nice. Go into the second keyframe, uh, go back to the edit tab and add a marker and put it in between 
uh, like the grass hut uh, cinematic and the clip so it should just zoom in yeah super nice I'm actually gonna fade this out a bit as well uh, so I think that's all for the video if you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a like subscribe and uh, comment what tutorial you want next and that's it for me i'll see you guys later peace